let's revisit the Thevenin's equivalent circuit okay so if we have a network then that network is equivalent to VTH which is your open circuit voltage across these two terminals in series with RTH which is given by your VTH upon your short circuit current your current which flows through these two terminals when they are short circuited is your short circuit current and VTH upon R ISC is your RTH okay now if you recollect the source transformations we had seen whenever we had a voltage source in series with a resistance we can always convert it or transform it into a current source which is having the same resistance in parallel and the strength of this current source is given by V upon R right so this particular equivalent Thevenin's circuit we can transform into a current source with a resistance in parallel okay that particular current source is going to have a strength of VTH upon RTH okay which is basically equal to your just see over here your VTH upon RTH is equal to ISC right so the strength of this current source is equal to ISC and it has RTH in parallel okay so this type of a equivalent circuit is known as your Norton's equivalent circuit okay this is your Norton's equivalent circuit and this particular current source is known as your Norton's current IN okay IN is equal to your ISC and this particular resistance is known as your equivalent Norton's resistance and is known as RN which is equal to your RTH okay and now if you have a load resistance connected like this okay then how you are going to find out the current through this RL let's say I connect this load resistance like this then basically what you have is a current source and two resistances which are in parallel okay so as per your current divider rule your current through RL let's just say this is I is equal to what it is equal to your net current which is your I n into your equivalent resistance which is R L dot R n upon R L plus R n divided by your R L okay so you have by R L so this R n and this R L would be eliminated and what you are left with is your current which is flowing through your load resistance is equal to I n which is equivalent Norton's current into R n upon R l plus R n okay and this particular statement if you are going to say it in words is known as your Norton's theorem okay so this is your Norton's theorem which tells you how to find out the current through a load resistor by converting the circuit into a equivalent Norton's current with a Norton's resistance in parallel just realize this Norton's resistor is same as your Thevenin's equivalent resistance okay so just the way you are going to calculate your RTH you are going to calculate your RN okay there is no difference between RTH and RN okay so you are going to calculate your RTH and say that it is your equivalent Norton's resistance okay and this short circuit current how you are going to calculate this IN is basically the short circuit current right so in order to calculate IN what you are going to